All right. Uh, I picked up this Rebel Creek pack. You all see that? It has four different little lures in there. Check that out. It's got that little popper at the top. It's got the Crick Hopper. It's got the Crawdad and that little Bitsy Minnow down there. All right. Uh, I was cruising through Walmart and I seen that. It was like 10 bucks or something. So I was like, you know what? That'd be a really cool video. Uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to hit up a creek this evening. Um, I'm going to fish with each one of those lures. I'm going to try to catch a fish on each one. Just one. Or I should say at least just one. Uh, but I'm also going to issue a slight little challenge to some of the guys that watch me all the time. Um, let's see. So the rules are, and if anybody else wants to jump in, that's cool. That's cool. So the rules are going to be to catch at least one fish with each one of these lures in the Rebel Creek Pack. Um, should be pretty fun. But all right, uh, let's see. I'm going to challenge Puddle Walkers Outdoors. Life's Outdoor Adventures. Oh, yeah, and you can't forget about Show Me Creeks. So your mission, if you choose to accept, will be to catch a fish with each one of the lures on film. This should be pretty fun. Uh, I guess I'll see you tonight. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a good time tonight. Let's see if we can get this Rebel kit done. Um, all right, so the first one I'm gonna try is this Crick Hopper. These things are pretty cool. Basically what you wanna do with them is just get them in the water, just touch them. See what we can come up with. Oh, almost. The like first cast, we got to like three little nibbles at this dumb thing. fishing a lot with this over the years. I really like using this thing. The cool thing about the creek hopper is this thing is so good that almost every cast that you make, if you're wearing polarized sunglasses, you can see fish coming up to it. Giving her a little look see. I just want to twitch it in that water. Just twitch it. Yep. Okay, here we go. <laughs> These little perch, man, they just they can't help themselves. It doesn't take very long. I was out here for like five minutes maybe, throwing this little crick hopper around. Bingo, first fish. But like every single throw, you could just see them. They were just coming after this thing. That's pretty cool. First one down. Uh, we got a few more to go. Next, the little bitty minnow. Oh yeah, that'll be all right. See what this thing does. There is just tons of these little perch in here. I had a hard time keeping them off that crick hopper. See if I can, what this thing will do. This one, you fish just slightly different. It's getting a little bit cooler here, so I gotta fish it just a little slower. It'd be great if we catch a big old smallie or something.
cast too, and I hadn't got a bite on this one yet, but I'm sure it's coming. It'll come. I have faith, man. Rebel makes some great products. They're just, they're, I've been fishing with them since I was a kid. And I've always had pretty good luck with them. You know, it's, it's like anything else. Some days stuff's on, some days it's off, but I love the way they wobble in the water because they just hit and they move really, really fast in the water. I'll try this over here, this little faster moving water with this little minnow. Let's see what we come up with. One more. Come on. Come on. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Check that out. We got another little, little sunfish. Oh, he's pretty though. Looks almost the same as the other one. Little long ear. Gosh, I don't care what size they are. I just, they're just so much fun to catch. I was hoping for a smallmouth or something with this guy, but it just didn't happen. Well, that's number two. Like I said, guys, if you're just looking for something that's gonna catch fish, pick up that. Just pick it up. Those things work good. That Rebel Creek Pack, like every lure in there just thinking, well, just catch fish. That's what it's made for. That's what it does, it just catches fish. All right, well, I guess we'll... Huh. So goodbye, little fella. All right, next is up is that little popper. I'm gonna try to run in this fast water, trying to catch a little smallmouth. I hope that's what happens. This creek, I have hauled out some pretty good sized smallmouth, but not lately. This little popper's, it like throws the water in front of it. What's cool about running this current is it takes it right back out. This is the one I'm most nervous about catching something with. And the quick hopper, the little minnow, I wouldn't worry at all. This one. But that's why it's called a challenge. I enjoy fishing just to fish, see what happens. Some days is better than others. I might be fishing just a little too fast. Let's slow that down just a touch. Come on, take it. I got something Again, with these polarized glasses, man, you can see into the water pretty good. Okay, keep getting something that wants to look at it. I can just see the shadow coming up underneath it. If I can get it caught on camera, can you guys see the action of this thing? Thing just hops around like crazy. Yeah. If there's any bass in here, they're gonna get it. Shoot, a green sunfish will probably tear it up before anything else. Seems like. Seems to be what happens to me most of the time. But that's okay. This is the creek fishing kit. It's supposed to catch creek fish. Yep. 
what the heck is that? Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> I was really hoping for a smally with this bigger lure. Big. <laughs> and this is what we get. I mean, I'll take it. Those things are pretty. I love catching these things. There, you see that? Look at that. Gorgeous fish. Gorgeous. The long ear right there. They're pretty. Well, let's get him back in the water. I don't like to keep him out too terribly long, but I do like to admire him a little bit. All right, well, we just got one left to go out of the four, and that one is the crowdad. Bye bye, little fella. Grow bigger. Okay, next is this crawfish. Check that out. When I was a kid, this was my favorite lure. Swims backwards like a crawfish just moving from rock to rock. Fish them slow, usually have pretty good luck with them. Let's see if we can get it on camera today. I've really only been out here for, shoot, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, and I've already caught those fish on lures, on the Rebel Pack. Not too terribly difficult. Over the years, I've probably fished with this crawfish the most. Just because I get stuck on stuff. If something works, I want to do it again, again, and again. But I may have wore my welcome out of just this little hole right here. We'll see. I'll give it a few more casts and we'll move on to a different spot. Get a little darker shaded area over there. Go check that out. Cool thing about these little crayfish is these everything you need to crawl in. Oh, I got one chasing it. Come on, take it. I like to get it right there in the sunlight borders the shade. Stuff comes out of the shade in the sunlight and I see it. The flip side is sometimes it can see me too and get scared. Throw it up closer to this. Yeah, I've always found to fish with some of this stuff. Oh no. Great. 
stuff happens to me sometimes that doesn't happen at all at all ah great well that that's exciting let's hope they can get my lure back So far, I've only been out here for like 35 to 40 minutes. Moved a couple spots with this crawfish because I think I wore up my welcome. Now I'm back fishing in the sunlight in my eyes. I think I got Real slow. Real slow. Yep. Well, shoot. Well, I'll be. I can't keep the dang sunfish off of this thing. Uh-oh, and hooking myself. All right, let's see what we got here. Well, that's a pretty little guy too. He's, I think, the smallest one that I've caught so far today. Well, we, uh, we now have got caught fish with all of the Rebel Creek pack. We know they catch fish, for sure. For sure, nothing more than that. I think that's only like $10.48 at Walmart or something. Man, and it is a good time. This was the last one I was using that little crayfish. It swims pretty cool backwards and stuff. 